So it's been a while since I've kind of like taken myself on like, kind of like a solo date. And that's kind of what I want to do today. It's Saturday, the sun is out currently. We're expecting a high of 20 degrees today, but it also says that there is a chance of rain as well. Typical being in London. So I'm gonna start with this linen cotton blend cargo trousers, which is a sample for my own line. What I really like about these is that you still get that like cargo trouser effect, but because of that cotton linen blend, they're a lot lighter and a lot more breathable. I also added buttons on the bottom so you can have a slightly more tapered look. Obviously you all know I'm a big fan of Aesop and also the Labo, but I did kind of want to branch out a little bit. So I went to try the Tom Ford ombre leather. The one downside I would say with Aesop is the fact that they don't actually do like sample sizes to like test out. I just think every fragrance brand should offer kind of like a sample size just so you can kind of feel it out. I do find this one to be a bit more of an evening scent, but I thought I'd just give it a go today. So coming on to the footwear. So these are the Lemaire loafers. You've seen them plenty of times. I mentioned this on a reel the other day is the fact that if you are looking into getting these, they are so tight to start with, like the leather is really stiff, but they do soften nicely over time. And I did go true to size. Now, yes, I am going with no socks. I know that freaks out most people. I'm kind of on that same page too, but I don't want to wear high socks. So until I can find some like nice proper low no-show socks, that's actually what I'm going to look for today. I'm doing it this way just because I just, again, I don't want to wear high socks. So because the high is around 20 degrees today, I just want the shirt to be nice and flowy. So I'm going to go with the DS Marcelo shirt, which I am just going to roll up the sleeve slightly. And the shirt just adds a nice little texture to the outfit. One being that kind of like transparent and it being that very nice merino wool. So that's gonna to be today's spring outfit. I'm also gonna take my camera, my headphones and my book and we'll just see what I get up to. Sometimes life can be tough And you feel like you just had enough When you're thinking everything is gone wrong Just remember that I From the ground Let you know that I'm always around Cause I know we can make it Yes, we can make it If we try Keep on trying
almost like, I think it's like four months since I last did a recent pickup. So I thought I'd walk you through a few of the uh, new additions to my wardrobe. Now, to be perfectly honest, I actually haven't been purchasing that many items. The major thing that I've been doing is actually selling so much of my clothes. If you've been following me on Instagram, you would have seen that. I've been doing it pretty much on Depop and also Vinted and kind of just doing a big declutter of my wardrobe, trying to lighten everything up, especially because I actually am trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff before that move finally happens to New York. So this is from a small Australian brand called Mutuma. I think that's how it's pronounced. And when I saw this jacket, I thought it was sick. If you've, if you've been in watching for a while, I've been kind of hunting for pretty much a leather jacket like this for a long time, like a proper brown leather jacket. You see, I don't actually have any in my collection. Now, full transparency, this was gifted to me. Now, one thing I pride myself on, especially for the position that I'm in, you know, doing like fashion and social media, is that I pretty much never accept any sort of gifting unless it is something that I would be willing to purchase with with my own money, and that was definitely the case with this. I love the faded details on this. It really looks like it is worn in, and that is definitely what I like in a leather jacket. I think it fits me great. I love the length of it. Now, obviously, I can't really wear it that much at the moment because we are coming into summer, but definitely come into fall and winter time. This is gonna be in heavy rotation. The next piece we have is this stunning jacket from Orally. So I actually ordered this twice. So when I first saw this, I thought it was so sick. And again, it arrived and still, thought it was a great jacket but the recommended retail price for this was 850 pounds which I just I just didn't want to spend that on a jacket so I actually ended up sending it back and then luckily I don't know if you all know this but matches fashion or like known as like matches now is going under so it's going to be completely like closed down and they have just been doing a massive sale even now there's like 70 percent off a lot of the good stock's gone because it's been going on for a while but this was actually on their website so i was able to get this for 50 percent off which i was so happy with again just like the leather jacket i won't really be able to wear this that much now but this was definitely an investment piece for kind of like the future fall and winter and to me this is such a great timeless piece so next it's i guess it's not really a recent pickup but i'm going to show it anyway because i'm wearing it so much it is the daniel simmons ribbed vest now this has been in the makings for well over a year you lot will know that it has taken so long to nail it and then also find enough of the material that is needed so this is our fitted ribbed vest which is pretty much the vest that you see me wearing all the time. It's gonna be launching in June in black and white, and then eventually cream as well. And I wear mine in a size medium, but to me, this is just the ultimate kind of just like underlaying piece, whether it's you're wearing it under a shirt, or actually, to be honest, like I wear it so much by itself as well. But yeah, I get a lot of questions about this, so that's what this is. Coming into legwear, and it's the only legwear that I got, it is the bare knuckle wide leg Japanese raw denim i think that's correct i think i said that correctly i'm a huge fan of bare knuckles denim you see i've got these exact same jeans in black and also blue so when they came out with this just a raw denim it's so sick these fit me in my opinion great now i actually love how these fit on me they do fit a little bit slimmer on me than how you might see on the models on their website then that's just due to more of my kind of like athletic legs if you're looking into them i'll definitely tell you to go true to size for your waist but again they do have all the measurements on there what i'm really excited for with these is just to see how they fade and age like throughout a lot of wear coming on to footwear and this is a pair of boots I have been wanting for over two years. If you've seen on Instagram, you see I've been asking multiple times if anybody can get me a size. Nobody could, and I finally found them on Grailed, brand new. It is the Our Legacy Pony Hair Boots. Completely brand new, haven't even worn them out yet because again, it is starting to warm up. So again, this was more of an investment piece for me, but I'm so glad to have finally got my hands on these. I definitely don't have a pair of like brown boots like these, and on top of that, the texture of the pony hair. I think these are beautiful. I love them. I am so happy I was able to get them. And on top of that, they were brand new and because they were like a few seasons old, they were below the standard retail price. So that's just a win. Also with Camion boots, I do go true to size and that is what I recommend. Moving on to sneakers, which I do wear. I was thinking about this the other day. Like I do wear sneakers. You guys just don't ever really see me wear them because I wear them when I'm just like, going casually out and about like running errands. 
but we do have these Onisuka Tiger sneakers. These are so sick. I wear these more than my Sambas now. In my opinion, these are more comfortable than Sambas. And I also just like how kind of like just like slim and like streamline the sneaker is. Also my fiance, she loves them as well. We both have this pair and especially if you go for the white, they're just so easy to kind of just like wear with anything. And I did go true to size in these. Finally, we have the minted New York in collaboration with Saucony. I think that's how it's pronounced, sneakers. This is Marcus's brand and these were gifted to me. I would have tried to purchase these myself if they weren't. I think he absolutely nailed these. Color of these is beautiful. The detail that they've put into them is so nice. And I think it's just a great achievement to show what a content creator can do. He's doing great stuff. His brand is doing amazing things. And again, I wear Saucony's all for my running shoes. Those are the running shoes I use. So the fact that they had the collaboration with them is just great as well. So Marcus, if you're watching this, congratulations on this bro. Like this is, honestly, you just nailed it. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm.